Hmm. Sounds really good for him. Okay, let's see who's next. Oh! Hello, you guys. Uh, I was just uh, busy uh, reading this. The History of Pantomime. So that's... Uh, um, it has some of the other... St- other funds as well. Well, not other funds, but uh, uh, fun things for the uh, for the book, like including Danes for past and present, and uh, pantomime producers, and who, what, where, and when. So yeah. But uh, speaking of pantomimes, but uh, this is what I'm doing right now. It's Friday. It's six o'clock, and it's time for my history of panto years. It's Ben's History of Panto Years! Oh, no, it is. oh, yes, it is! Hello there, everyone, it's Ben here, and uh, welcome once again to my History of Panto Years. This is episode four right now. So, um, so for episode one, I've done 2000 to, to 2001, and episode two, I've done uh, 2011 to 2012. And episode three I've done is 1998 to 1999. But uh, this year, for episode four, well, not for this year, but but for this episode for that. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, 1992 to 1993. So this is what uh, this episode is. So if we're ready, let's get on with it. Right, let's get ready to rumble. First up on the list is Dick Whittington at the Weymouth Pavilion. So let's see who we got. Jenny Powell from Wheel of Fortune. Colin Baker from Doctor Who. And Henry's Cat? It's really Henry's Cow in the pantomime? Wow, that's cool. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's from uh, BBC TV for that. Uh, Maybe he's appeared as a special guest. Um, I think I, I think I was right for that. <laughs> Next up, we have Babes in the Word at the Civic Theatre in Darlington. So let's see, Leslie Ash and... And we have Tommy Cannon and Bobby Ball, or also known as Cannon and Ball, for short for this, because uh, they're the last names for that. But, uh, but uh, I don't know they have big heads there, and they have little bodies there. <laughs> that reminds me of a CBBC show called Heads, where those celebrities had heads there, and then the bodies uh, are moving for that. for that. So, yeah. Moving on now, and we got Mother Goose at the Pavilion Theatre. So, well, it's that new Pavilion Theatre, but uh, let's see. We have... The late Keith Harris, with uh, with his late puppets, Orville and Cuddles. Yeah. Next up on the list is Dick Whittington at the Assembly Hall's Turnbridge Wells. And so, let's see. And look who's on the bottom. It's Garfield the Cat. Yeah, he's going to be uh, a special guest uh, in this theatre for that. Moving on now to Cinderella at the Wycombe Swan Theatre. But yeah, I think that was. So let's see who we got. And we got, uh, you got the late Andy Andy Cummin- Cunningham from Bodger and Badger, with Bodger and Badger for that. Uh, so I think. Uh, Andy Cunningham appears as a character, uh, along with uh, Bodger and Badger, for, for that. Uh, so yeah, that's what it was there. <laughs> Next up, we have Aladdin at the Manchester Opera House. Let's, so let's see, Roly Polies, and... Well, well, look who's at the top. Michael Barrymore from Strike It Lucky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, I think uh, that's uh, his uh, uh, last appearance on uh, this panto back in 1992 for that. So yeah, next up, it's um, 
not sure that you ever heard of it. It's called Robertson Crusoe. I don't know how I pronounced that right. And <laughs> anyways, it's at the Grand Theatre in Swansea. So let's see who have we got. Joe Pasquale. Over there. I think uh, I think that's the old Joe Pasquale for that. And we have the old Dave Benson Phillips from Children's TV. But uh, I can't see uh, that he's playing for that because it's very small for that, isn't it, folks? Well, I I, like, I couldn't see it uh, for this one on my computer screen for that. So yeah, <laughs> so yeah, that's Joe Pasquale and Dave Benson Phillips there. Next up. It's Jack of the Beanstalk at the Bristol Hippodrome. So we have Billy Pierce there. And we have uh, from Stars from Rainbow. So we've got the late Jeffrey Hayes. And we have Bungle Bear, or Bungle for short. And Zippy and George. Wow, a few, few characters from Rainbow during the panto. Uh, for in 1992. Next up, we have Dick Whittington at Theatre Royal Plymouth. So let's see who we got. Uh, so, and look who's at the top there. We have the funny man, Les Dawson, who's the original host of Blankety Blank. Wow. Good on him for that. But, uh, is Les Dawson playing the Dame for that? I, yeah, I think it, I think he is playing the Dame. Next up on the list is Cinderella at the Bournemouth Pavilion. So let's see who is in it. We have Stefan Dennis from uh, Neighbours. And then also we have June Brown from EastEnders. And uh, yeah, I think she's uh, a fairy on, on Cinderella. Fairy godmother, I think. Yeah, but uh, uh, she was the original uh, cast of EastEnders playing Doc Cotton. But uh, this year, she stepped down. But that's so. That's a shame. <clears throat> Next up on the list is Jack and the Beanstalk at the Swindon Wyvern Theatre. So let's see who have we got, and we have Hugo Meyer. I don't know how to pronounce the name from Nightmare. And uh, he's playing the baddie. Yeah, he's always playing the baddie for that. With, well, he's on the uh, nightmare for that. But uh, yeah, I think he's playing flesh creep. I think it is. Yeah, I think he's playing flesh creep. Moving on now, and it's Dick Whittington at the Theatre Royal Nottingham. So let's see, we've got Sue Pollard there and. And, of course, the Chuckle Brothers there. But, uh, yeah, that's what uh, they dress up as. Uh, I think they're pirates. Next up, we have Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs at the Ashcroft Theatre. So, let's see who we've got. Stu Francis again from Cracker Jack. He's playing models for that. And, uh, and, uh... See anything else? Nikki, Nikki Kelly from Heidi High. And that's so. So yeah, that's what we was there. Nikki, Nikki and Stu. Next up, it's Aladdin at the Oxford Apollo. So let's see who we got. And it's Bradley Walsh from the Chase. And uh, and I wonder what he's playing. I think he's playing buttons. I think. Well, I don't know for that, because I just can't see the small writing. <laughs> Next up, we have uh, Cinderella at the Civic Hall Guildford. So, let's see. We have Bob Cowgees and Spit the Dog over there. And then we have John Chalice from Only Fours and Horses. Or Boise. You might uh, just call him for short for that. <laughs> yeah. Next up. On the list, it's Cinderella at the Theatre Royal Bath. So let's see. We have uh, Rolf Harris for that. And then we have Leslie Joseph from Birds of a Feather. So she is a fairy godmother for that. And we have Sylvester McCoy from Doctor Who. 
yeah, the original Doctor Who guy for that. Moving on now, and we got Aladdin at the new theatre hall. So, let's see. And it's the Crankies. Wow. So, let's... So, yeah. So, yeah, a Crankies for that. Uh, I think uh, Jimmy Cranky is... Uh, playing as uh, like a policeman and um, the other one uh, is uh, the dame I think I, I don't know what it is what it was there because I don't see uh, the thing that, that they played next up we have more Aladdin and it's at Birmingham Hippodrome so let's see and we have Brian Conley yep <laughs> So I think he's uh, playing uh, Buttons, I think. I don't know. Or maybe is it Prince Charming? I don't... No, not Prince Charming. Uh, Aladdin. For that person. I don't know what he's dressed up as. Because uh, I can't see the small writing for that. Next up on the list is uh, Cinderella at the Durngate Theatre in Northampton. So let's see. We have Ian Beale. For me, standards Adam Woodyard for that, and we have Bonnie Lanford over there. Uh, so she's uh, appeared in musicals for that, and uh, so yeah, and then uh, we have Jean Ferguson from Last of a Summer Wine. Wow, <laughs> quite a few cast for that. Next up is Cinderella at the Princess Theatre in Tor. I don't know how I pronounced that. So let's see. And we have Bernie Clifton over there again. But uh, with uh, with uh, Oswald, the. Uh, I can't remember the animal was, but uh, yeah, and we have a. Uh, and we have a uh, neighbor star, uh, uh, Maggie Dance over there. So yeah. Okay, moving on right now to Pi Piper of Hamelin. I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyways, it's uh, at Close Pavilion South End, and so we have Wayne Sleep over there. But uh, yeah, that's the old Wayne Sleep, and that because uh, it's hair for that. <laughs> so yeah, moving on now to Robin Hood and the Babes in the Woods at the Theatre Royal Nottingham. So let's see, we have Leslie Grantham, uh, Little and Late Large, and we have Richard Cadell from uh, Sooty for that. But, but yeah, I think uh, that's what uh, was, but uh, I can't see the writing for that. It says, I think it says a uh, young magician of the year, but uh, not, but it's not for that, like uh, from Sooty. Uh, and sweet for that. So yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, we have Snow White and the Seven of the Wolves at the Albine Arena St. Albans. So let's see. Richard Norton from uh, Neighbours and Home and Away, Australian uh, star soap for that. And we have Simon Parkin. He's, he's present uh, The Broom Cupboard on CBBC. Yeah, good on him. Well, I'm afraid we're on our time right now, so we've come to the end of this episode. So if you want to see more of the uh, the, the posters that uh, you see, well, for to to show infinite, but uh, well, whatever it was, but uh, it's on the uh, the Panto Archive website. Just to remind you. So, anyways, we'll see you guys next week. Bye.